Hello and welcome to Citizen Today. I am Alice Odera coming to you from the Communication Center in Nairobi. It is Wednesday the 26th of September and here are some of the top stories of the day. Embakasi Member of Parliament, Ferdinand Waititu, has now filed an urgent application at the High Court seeking to block his arrest and prosecution over incitement and hate speech charges. In his submission, Waititu also wants police stop from arresting him. He remained within the precincts of the August House all day yesterday, despite calls by leaders and efforts by police to arrest him. Education Minister Mutula Kilonzo has today reiterated the government's stand on the school calendar after the teachers' strike. The minister said that the new dates were non-negotiable and that the school term will run for 38 weeks. And those 38 weeks are going to be realized. Uh, they are not negotiable because they were declared right at the beginning of the year. And our students must remain in school for 38 weeks. The government is now threatening to recruit 1,000 new doctors and an additional 1,000 medical officers from tomorrow if the striking doctors will not have resumed duty. Medical Services Minister Professor Anyang Nyongo says advertisements for the new jobs will be put up tomorrow, terming the ongoing doctor strike illegal. The Ministry of Education has relaunched its campaign dubbed Operation Lindam Totom Sichana in Void District to increase the number of girls enrolling in school. The campaign, which intends to protect girl child and improve their performance in school, comes after several primary school girls were rescued from early marriages in Bachuma Gate two months ago. Now, all the four mobile phone service operators say that they are ready to effect the directive that all fake phones in circulation be switched off with effect from Sunday, the September of 30. 2012. The operators are now calling for tough measures to be put in place to check against the distribution of contraband handsets in the Kenyan market. And in business news, the central bank has stepped up its presence in the market to stabilize the shilling, which slipped against the dollar to trade at 85 shillings and 5 cents on Tuesday compared to Monday's level of 84 shillings and 80 cents. The intervention this year have sought to protect the shilling after a historic slump last year. The shilling has been weakening since the reduction of the indicative central bank rate earlier this month. Listed financial services provider B Britam has launched an insurance cover to help home buyers borrow mortgage loans without upfront deposits. The insurance product will enable mortgage seekers to access full home loans without the mandatory cash deposit requirement, usually pegged at 20% of the total value. The cover will cushion the mortgage lenders from losses arising from default on repayments. For the latest on those stories and more, go to citizennews.co.ke. I am Alice Odera, and that's Citizen Today.